Wake up. We are trying to wake you up. Thanks to fact checkers on USA Today, we have completely debunked the misinformation sparked by the conspiracies of this solar eclipse. Watch this video till the end, perform your duty as a human being and share this video and watch it till the end before you denounce anything. Welcome to a day in the life on Earth in 2024. So early next week, the sun, which is 400 times larger than the moon, and coincidentally exactly 400 times farther away than the moon, will be 100% perfectly covered up by the moon during a total solar eclipse because they appear exactly the same size in the sky, which is Quite the coincidence, considering we are moving around the sun at 66,672 miles an hour, while the sun is hurling through a forever exponentially expanding space at 448,000 miles an hour, and the moon is just able to cover up the sun 100% perfectly, no more, no less. That is a bit of a coincidence, if you ask me. Meanwhile, NASA will be firing three rockets into the total solar eclipse to study the air. And those rockets are named Apep, after the Egyptian serpent demon god of destruction and chaos. Don't believe me? Ask NASA for yourself. The mission is called Apep. The acronym was chosen because Apep is also the name of the serpent god from ancient Egyptian cosmology, who pursued the sun god Ra and every so often nearly consumed him, resulting in an eclipse. So they gave a very innocent and understandable reasoning for naming it Apep, but they forgot to mention that Apep represents the forces of chaos, death, and disorder. It's literally the opposite of light and good. It's pure evil. The serpent demon god of destruction is what they're naming the rockets that they're shooting into the sun after. But that's not all. Meanwhile, all of this is going on while NASA is shooting rockets into the total solar eclipse and while the moon is perfectly covering the sun, CERN, who has a statue of the Hindu god of destruction right outside their door, will be firing up the largest machine in the entire world, the Large Hadron Collider. That's right, they are going to be firing billions of protons at each other at the speed of light in a 17 mile long tunnel, trying to recreate the conditions one second after the Big Bang. And they are firing it up during the total solar eclipse. Besides the fact that they have the statue of the Hindu god of destruction right outside their door, I guess it's also just a coincidence that their logo is literally three sixes. And I guess it's also a coincidence that CERN is located in Geneva, Switzerland. And the Bible says that Satan lives where Antipas was put to death. And Antipas was put to death at the Apollyon Temple in Geneva, Switzerland. But it goes even deeper than that. CERN and the Large Hadron Collider are specifically located in a city called St. Genus Poli. I know I'm probably butchering that. But that city translates to Apollyacum which was a village temple dedicated to Apollo. And Apollo is very closely compared and related to Shiva, which is the statue that they have right outside. And Apollo is very closely associated with destruction, means to destroy. And they have a statue of the god of destruction right outside, while NASA is shooting three rockets into the solar eclipse named after the serpent demon god of destruction. So CERN, whose logo is 666, who has a statue of the Hindu god of destruction right outside, is located at an ancient temple of Apollo. And the ancient temple of Apollo was believed to have a portal to the underworld right underneath it. And the Large Hadron Collider is located right on top of it where they're trying to smash particles together to create what created the universe. The Bible says they had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in Greek is Apollyon, that is destroyer. I guess it's also a coincidence that the World Wide Web was created at CERN and www translates into Hebrew as 666.
So, not only will NASA, whose name means to deceive in Hebrew, be shooting three rockets into the total solar eclipse named after the serpent demon god of destruction, but at the same exact time, CERN, whose logo is 666, who created the World Wide Web that translates into 666, who has a statue of the Hindu god of destruction right outside their door that is built on top of a temple dedicated to Apollo, the god of chaos and destruction and the ruler of the underworld, they will be firing up the Large Hadron Collider and shooting particles at each other at the speed of light to create dark matter during the total solar eclipse. Does this not sound like they're trying to like open a portal or send us into the upside down or something? Because honestly, the Large Hadron Collider looks a lot like that portal opener that they had in Stranger Things. And even one of the top scientists working on the Large Hadron Collider said, out of this door might come something or we might send something to it. Does that not sound like a portal is opening up? Sergio Bertolucci said that. He is an Italian particle physicist and the former director of research and scientific computing at CERN. So I think he knows what he's talking about. So considering all of the satanic references associated with CERN that I just mentioned, including the human sacrifice ritual that happened right outside of CERN, right in front of the Hindu statue of destruction, I don't think that they're opening this portal for anything good. I'm gonna be honest. If you don't remember that CERN ritual happening, Here's a video of it, I'm about to play it. What the? And then the fact checkers came out and said that it was just a bunch of scientists playing a prank on us and performing a fake human sacrifice ritual in front of the God of Destruction because scientists are just known for their pranks and human sacrifice is so funny. And on another note, the moon is also turning red it's rusting because hematite is being found on it and hematite is derived from the greek word for blood and i guess it's just a coincidence that the bible says the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the lord and that's exactly what's happening i'm not gonna say it's the end of the world but i'm not gonna say it's not